the church has come to a point where we are walking in darkness. Darkness is a representative of Satan. Lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life has taken the church. People of God have deviated. Ministers of God are greedy for money. Preachers now just want to extract from the people of God. Instead for us to teach them the right path, tell them what the Lord wants us to teach them. These things are not happening anymore. And in fact, it is a scripture. The Lord said in these last days, we will see abomination of desolation standing in the holy place. People even don't care, standing in a holy place, blaspheming the name of the Lord, speaking things that are all not being spoken on the altars of Yeshua. This is one of the greatest problems that the church we are encountering now. The congregation also have each year, like the scripture told us, that in the last days people will have each year. They will find their own prophets that will speak according to what they want to hear. And that is what is happening. You know, so it is not about the gospel anymore. It is not about the saving Lord anymore. It is not about the salvation journey anymore. It is not about how people will reconnect their destiny back to their maker anymore. But it is about earthly things. And it's a complete deviation. So the Lord gave us this vision to present Christ who is the light unto the dying world so the people will come to know the light that is the person of Christ. This is why the Lord commissioned us that we must preach the light unto the world. We, the Lord has commanded us to reach people, train people, that we will equip them in a such a way that they will be able to stand in this end time to propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ you know, in a right manner so that lives will be transformed, lives will be changed. Preaching of the gospel, evangelism, you know, faming and doing symposia. And what I mean by that is that we're going to have a talk shows basically to reach people, to explain to people the need for the Savior and the reason why Christ Jesus came to this earth, why he gave his life, why he went on the cross for us, why he was buried for us, why he resurrected for us and even ascended, sitting on the right hand of God at this particular moment that I'm talking to you. And not that he's just done, but also making intercession for us. So we are here to train pastors. In fact, we are here to correct those even ministers that have gone on the wrong path and they are willing to return back to the Lord. Our assignment is get them back on track and making sure that every gift work in the right perspective. That at the end of it all, the kingdom of God will be built. At the end of it all, Christ will be glorified. There are other people that are in need in different forms and in different ways. In the other days, you look at the, even the tabernacle days, there was a whole lot of people that were depending on the Lord. Like I said before, today the church has neglected the poor. Not all the churches though, but most of us. You know, the church has neglected the needy. 
and we don't even care when there is a problem internal. People will be suffering and we give a blind eye to it as if we don't see what they are going through. So our work here is to make sure that we will equip ministers who are willing. And for this reason, we're going to have conferences, seminars, workshops, and many things to educate people, especially young ministers in this age. And the devil is using the lust of the eye, lust of the flesh, and pride of life to deceive them from the right way to deliver the gospel. So these are the some of the assignments that the Lord has given to us and we must make sure that we will deliver it according to the will of God. The vision and the mission of World Light Revival Ministries is to present the person of Christ, the Anointed One, Yeshua, who came to die on our behalf, and he's coming again unto the world. So that through the power of the gospel of light, people will see the Lord, and they will come to have the salvation knowledge. In the book of John, the scripture says that I am the light of the world, Anyone that follows me will not walk in darkness, but walk in the light.